Hello everyone, yes we're looking at a Jaguar V12 engine once again. I thought I'd do a video on a bit more detail of the engine sensors you find dotted around in various places. I did previously do a video um, of a general engine bay overview of the Jaguar V12 but I didn't really go into that much detail of uh, purely the sensors side of things on the engine itself and uh, what they what they do what they're used for. I think I might have missed a few things as well. So without further ado, we'll start in this corner just here. Um, just as a reminder, this is a 1989 Jaguar XJS V12 5.3. This has the Morelli digital ignition system and ABS. Um, right, starting in this corner then. Let's just get a good shot of it. This is the throttle linkage just here. If I just operate the throttle on the capstan. You can see how that kind of works. This little black thing here with the orange and black wires going to this little red connector here, that's an off idle throttle switch. The way this works, I'll just I'll just turn the throttle slightly. You can probably hear it clicking just when it when the throttle moves a tiny amount. I'll just try again. So what that does is send a signal to tell the um, it, uh, the, the ignition system, I believe, that the car has come off throttle. So it's important that's adjusted correctly, so it just um, works just as you as you touch the throttle, and not too not too prematurely. Right, moving along this side of the engine, then we have an intake air temperature sensor in there, and then on the same piece of wiring loom, we have a coolant temperature sensor just down there. It's the, those two with the white plugs. I believe they are the intake and coolant temperature sensors respectively for the engine ECU rather than the ignition, but I will have to check that. But yeah, I think that's right. Right, on this side of the engine, we also have, on the fuel rail here, this little component. Now, I'm not sure which versions of XGS get this. It is part number, let's turn this around. EAC5805. It's actually a, a temperature switch. Uh, it's a purely mechanical device because there's no electronics to it. And what it does is, it's essentially how the system manages fuel vapour and vapour lock in the in the fuel rail here. So once this reaches a temperature, or detects a temperature of, I think it's 70 degrees Celsius or so, it, um, it basically blocks the vacuum going from the inlet manifold to this fuel pressure regulator. This is the main one that regulates the pressure within the system. And I think what that does, it effectively means that the pressure increases in the fuel rail here. And the idea is that that will force fuel round and, and out and back to the tank and it will clear any vapor blockage you've got. And then when the temp when it detects a temperature that's dropped below 70 degrees, it switches back off. So it's a fairly simple mechanical device that's used to address potential fuel vapour lock issues. Well, I'm just seeing if we've got any other sensors on this side of the engine. Uh, no, there's none in the coolant rail down there. Well, I'll just show you the camshaft sensors. So this black wire here, uh, it's, it's, it has that white connector there, and it, uh, it disappears off down the front of the engine. That is the front crankshaft position sensor. It detects basically a, um, a three-way position on the front of the crankshaft. And then at the rear of the engine here, we have that black shiny wire there on mine because I've replaced it. And it goes to this connector just here. So again, it's, it's the same type of connector. It's this, this Bosch EV1 style, I think they're called. Uh, and it's got a white plug on mine. So that disappears down to the crankshaft position sensor at the rear of the engine. They are both part of the Morelli digital ignition system. I can't remember which one of those sensors the system needs to allow the engine to start, but you will need either one or both of them for it to start and then obviously to run correctly. Well, is there any other switches on this side or sensors or anything? Yeah, I think that covers it. I'll just go around to the other side. Right, engine bay sensors from the right-hand side of the car uh, for the Jaguar V12. So, 
let's start just on the LED manifold shall we this here is what's called a, a temperature switch it's a bimetallic temperature switch so in there let's get a close up there is basically a, a metallic strip and it mechanically moves it kind of bends as it detects a higher temperature and basically breaks a contact in the circuit it's as simple as that so it's an inlet temperature sensor effectively i think that's used by the morelli system to retard the ignition timing if you have too hot air coming into the engine at 70 80 degrees or so it basically trips that sensor and it sends a signal to the morelli ignition ecu to retard the timing because there's hot air so that's that one there again you'll only have that if you have a 1988 roughly and onwards car with the morelli ignition right this here this cylindrical cylindrical looking thing that is the auxiliary air valve so the purpose for that is to admit additional air into the engine when there's a load on the engine and it's in an idle state so for example if you have the if you're stationary and you have the transmission in park or drive and um yes yeah, drive or reverse sorry and then you have the air conditioning engaged as well uh, the purpose of that is it's effectively an idle up valve so it, it's it switches on and in there this is a diaphragm that kind of moves up and down and it, it unblocks a passageway and allows additional air to enter the engine um, it comes directly from the air box here and then goes through that big pipe there um, I can't remember exactly where it goes but it's somewhere down here it goes into the bottom of the inlet manifold so that's a quite simple idle up valve um, looking at the engine just here then this here it might be quite difficult to see with the green wires going to it this is your kick down micro switch I'll just show you how it activates um, let's put it out hope you can hear that clicking so that's your kick down switch it's actually on the throttle cable it's quite a weird mechanism that jaguar use and i will try and demonstrate this um give me one second i'll just zoom in and i'll go in the car and i'm going to press the throttle pedal so this is normal driving uh, you know that's that's a tidal that's coming off throttle you can probably hear the clicking over there of the off throttle switch if I go all the way down, that is full throttle. And if you press a bit further on the pedal, I don't know if you can see that, but that I'm going to full throttle now. And if you press the pedal a little bit further, you can see the whole kind of cable mechanism moves. And it's actually activating that switch. I'll see if I can get a closer up shot. There we go, it's on, off, on, off. So that's me basically pushing the pedal as far as it will go into the carpet. And that's how the kick down switch is activated. I don't think it's actually working in my car. My car does uh, perform kick down, but it's, it's based on engine vacuum. Uh, I don't think that switch is actually working, so I need to investigate that. But uh, that's just there. Um, so looking down here at the rear of the, the manifold, just there in the coolant manifold through the engine you have a temperature sensor and at the front here you have a single I think that's blue and green wire temperature sensor and then finally you have another temperature sensor just there with a green plug I have to confess I'm not sure exactly which what all of them are for um, you obviously have one at that side of the engine that we've already looked at uh, you have one at the rear here, uh, one at the front, and then a single wire one also at the front. Um, one of those will be to the ECU in the rear of the car, uh, the, the standard engine ECU, you know, that, that's been uh, used since the XJS inception. Uh, one of them will be for the gauge, uh, the, the coolant temperature gauge in the car. I've got a feeling that's that single wire one just there. One of them will be for the Morelli ignition system i believe that the morelli does have its own temperature um temperature sensor and possibly one of them it's possibly this one at the rear here although i don't quote me on this i think one of them's to do with some of the startup emissions 
related stuff. Uh, for example, you've got this, and I'm not entirely sure how this does work, but you've got this vacuum um, switch here. And I've, I've got a feeling it, that there might be a, another, a, a fourth coolant temperature sensor effectively that's used to, um, during warm up, uh, it's used exclusively for the for the mechanical side of the warm up with these these vacuum switches and things, and it it's just only utilised for um, I don't know fifteen to a minute something like that to tell the engine that it's not up to temperature yet. So there will the temperature sensors. Um, is there any more? I think we might have covered all the sensors on the engine. It's not actually that complicated, all things considered. Uh, these, I guess, count as sensors, um, just at the back of the engine here. That's big round silver one on top, that one just there. That is the oil pressure gauge sender unit. Uh, it's got a single wire connector on the top there, so if that goes bad, your oil pressure gauge in the cabin won't work. And next to it, that silver one in the middle of the screen just there. Again, it's got a single wire connection. That is the fuel pressure warning light, the red light on the dashboard. So there's, there's a separate sensor for each one. Um, I believe they are totally independent, so if one breaks, the other one will still work. And that was the one that um, it lights up when you turn the car on, and then once, once you've started the engine, it will disappear after a few seconds. It's just a simple on-off switch for the oil pressure warning light. I think that does cover it for sensors on the engine. Sensors and switches and things, so I guess the main ones, yeah, it's, it's mainly temperature related, isn't it? You've got temperature switches here, temperature measurement probes and gauge probes in the coolant rail. You've got temperature measurement of the air and water on that side of the engine. And then switches wise, it's mainly um, to do with the throttle operation. So off idle switch at the back there, kick down switch in the middle here. So I hope that was useful. I'll just quickly show you the solenoids as well. We're at the uh, front of the engine here. This blue one, um, just in here, this is a, a vacuum switching valve or solenoid vacuum valve, depends what you want to call them. This uh, is connected to the inlet manifold here and the other end via this pipe here goes to the cruise control. So that's effectively the on-off for the vacuum supply to the cruise control. And then at the rear of the engine here, this one's quite difficult to see, so it's under this intake manifold at the bottom. I'll just zoom in. Uh, you have another one just there. That one is, so I'll just zoom back out. It's kind of, you can't really make this out, but it, all the spaghetti of vacuum hoses down there, it all swirls round and that one eventually goes to that little red pipe there, which you can see just here. That's actually a, a vacuum pipe for the Morelli system. It disappears under there and then I think it goes through that loom just there. Yeah, you can just see it just there. It goes through there into the car and into, in the UK at least, the passenger footwell and connects to the Morelli uh, ignition ECU, so that's how the Morelli system gets the vacuum source. Why it's on a vacuum switching valve, I'm not entirely sure, because you would have thought the ECU would want to see that all the time, but there you go. So I hope that helps. Um, I did do a video of general overview of the engine bay, so I'll link to that below, and if you'd like any other videos on anything specific regarding the XJS or B12 engine, um, let me know. Thank you.